Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to smoke a Wagyu tri-tip that I got from Midland Meat Company. This is one beautiful tri-tip. In just a second, I'm going to bring you in and give you a closer look. We're just going to do a couple of layers uh, with a salt and pepper and garlic uh, mix that I have. And then also, we're going to be using the rub um, by GQ Barbecue. Jason uh, sent me this a while back and I wanted to try this on this tri-tip. I heard that it is phenomenal on basically anything. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right guys, here is that tri-tip, this Wagyu uh, tri-tip. It is beautiful and you can see all the marbling in this. This is going to be an excellent tri-tip. I'll put up in the iCard um, the video I did probably a couple months back where I, a local butcher here in town, he cut it for me. Um, I had a few people say, ah, oh, that's not a tri-tip, that's a brisket, uh, you ruined it. Uh, when I cooked that tri-tip, um, I was cooking it like I was cooking a brisket. Today, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to cook it just like you would a tri-tip. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started on this. And this right here I'm using, I just picked this up at the grocery store. I used this on another video recently. It's got roasted garlic infused olive oil. So we're going to put this on the tri-tip first. And as always, make sure we get it all the way around. All right, and my first layer, again, is just some salt, pepper, garlic, that's a granulated garlic, you know, some coarse salt, coarse pepper. We're gonna put that a little light layer all the way around. And this is a thick piece of meat, so we are going to go liberal with GQ's rub. And again, I will put, <coughs> I'm sorry, just <coughs> always gets to me. We did all this pepper in here. <coughs> I will put a I card up above so you can check out Jason's YouTube channel. GQ barbecue. And let's uh, see if we can get you a shot in here of this. GQ, it's the rub by GQ barbecue. So we're going to go ahead and put this on liberally. All the way around. So we're going to let this sit for a while. I'm going to let it sit up and I may even put a little plastic wrap around it. And we're gonna let it sit up for a couple of hours and then we'll get on the smoker. We're using the Green Mountain Daniel Boone smoker again today. All right guys, we're gonna get this tri-tip on, but I wanted to show you a product that was sent to me from Best of the West. It's an all natural product. This is a non-stick grilling spray. This is something that you can spray on your grill grate. Uh, you can also, it's got a it's hickory magic, so you can Spray this on your food. It's safe to spray on your food to kind of give it that hickory flavor. Say you're cooking it on a gas grill or you want to cook it inside your oven. This is some awesome stuff, fat free. Uh, again, that's all natural product, no preservatives or anything like that. So it's some great stuff. So we're going to spray our grill top with this and then we're going to get this. And we're running it at 225 and we have allowed this to get at room temperature. Put it right there in the middle of the grill. Keep an eye on this. I'm gonna probably cook it for about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. And then we're gonna just kind of see how things are then, see their internal temperature. I'm looking to be around 130, excuse me, 127 to around 130, 135. All right, we're gonna check this tri-tip out right quick, kind of see where we're at. Internal temp, my Maverick instant read thermometer. 
we're right at 100 degrees internal. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to flip this over. Just turn it over. Again, we're looking at around 130, 135 internal. So we'll let it cook a little bit longer. We went ahead and took it off. And I decided to go around 135, almost 140. Uh, again, my folks like it a little bit more done, but in the middle, we should be fine to be around medium to medium rare. Now I'm gonna let this rest. I'm gonna wrap this up in this aluminum foil and we're gonna put it in a cooler for about an hour and just kind of let it rest, let all the juices kind of go back in there. And then we're gonna slice this bad boy up. All right, guys, the tri-tip is ready. We let it rest for about an hour in aluminum foil. Again, it allows the juices to go back inside and then also it's gonna continue to cook. We basically, you can kind of cut it down here in the middle because you've got grain that's going to run kind of diagonally this way. You wanna make sure that you're, you're cutting across the grain. So we're gonna cut it down the middle first. And make sure that we got a good shot. If you can see, it's perfectly done. We're looking at probably medium to medium rare. It's about medium, medium rare there. All that marbling in there. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this. Go ahead and cut this. As you can see, that's perfectly cut. Cooked. So we're going to try us a piece. All right, we're going to try this. Mason, my son, is with me today. He wants to give it a try as well. So Mason, here you go, buddy. What do you think? It's good. <laughs> Let me try a piece here. I'm good. This is absolutely awesome. GQ barbecue, the rub is great. You can taste all the seasons that's in there. I can taste some garlic, some pepper, the salt. It is again perfectly cooked. And this Wagyu beef just melts in your mouth from Midland Beef Company, Meat Company. It's just awesome. Great, great stuff here, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. We greatly appreciate it, guys. It's a beautiful day out here in North Carolina. Able to share it with the family. Wonderful, wonderful piece of meat here. I hope that you would check Midland Meat Company out. Also, GQ Barbecue. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, I hope that you subscribe, continue to watch us and support. We thank you so much. God bless.